Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another sit rep episode here on Brick Mania TV. I'm here with Dan, keeping our, our social distance from each other, at least, yeah, at least a little bit. stay over there. But yeah, <laughs> but we're, uh, we're, we're at the build site of the USS Macon Island and we're uh, going over what's new and what's back and uh, just kind of an update here from what's going on uh, with Brick Mania. So first things first, let's start with some updated store hours. Store hours, right. The store in Chicago is now closed due to the uh, shelter in place order that's been given mm -hmm. in, in Illinois. So we've closed it as of Saturday. We don't know when we'll be able to reopen it. Some of that inventory is on its way back to uh, headquarters. We will put some, you know, there's some rarities will go up on, up on the website. But other than that, um, Chicago is closed until further notice. Mm -hmm. um, the other stores are open. Right. So 11 to 7 Tuesday through Saturday are the new store hours for the Capitol location and for the GHQ store. Like Dan said, uh, the Chicago location is closed. Sorry to you folks uh, in Chicago who would want to go to a Brick Mania store, especially in these times, to, to stock up for an extended stay at home. But there is somewhat of a benefit because, like Dan said, we're going to be getting some of the inventory back from the store, and we'll put that up online and make it available on BrickMania.com, including a couple of Bob Semple tanks, which right. have been sold out for ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost since almost since we launched it. We only did make 50 of those. Right. So there'll be a couple left, a couple more coming back from from well, they're actually not even going. We mm -hmm. we we, we Pulled holding them, pulled, them back yeah, yeah i suppose we pulled that's them the right before they could be shipped so. mm -hmm. well that'll be cool a couple more in case you missed out on that on that initial run you can go ahead and, and check out the bob we got a completed <laughs> minifig you were making too, more so. <laughs> yeah right so um okay so moving on from from there i guess let's go right into what's new so this week is the is the flying tigers uh bundle week which means it's the uh, a6 m20 uh, and the p40b warhawk both yep. available on brickmania.com right now however just kind of an update with these. So because that bundle was so popular, there's only 17 of each plane available. Right, There's we, we put we put a, uh, like 50 bundles up right. and there was so much demand that we ended up having to put more up. Right. Uh, so that they're gone and mm -hmm. we do have individual copies now. Uh, very limited co uh, quantities remain. In fact, I think the Warhawk, we may have like half the whole, like a half dozen or a dozen or so back because they were missing some pieces. So right. until those show up, you might see some Warhawks trickling on the on the website later okay. on this week. Okay. So, so but, st stay updated to that. But these are this week's new release, uh, once again, available in limited quantities. So just stay updated for for more from mm -hmm. those bad boys. Um, and then we've also got some new stuff. So I, I guess let's before we get to the new stuff, uh, those of you, uh, the JU-52 pre-order. Um, we are going to do another half batch. It's a half batch, right? Because we decided to do more new releases. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. you know we're working from home. We're working in different places, and it, and it actually is, it you know it's freeing us up with distractions. So we're actually doubling up a lot of our new releases that we were we were only going to have one new release a week. We're like, let's do two, because uh, you know we're working from home. We're working in different locations. We have a little bit more time to get these things in the pipeline. I sure. uh, want to get them started because also we can get the parts ordered, get all that stuff ahead of time. So we're, we're working on that now. Mm -hmm. um, I do, we do not have the- A JU-52. Right? Yeah, JU-52. I, I, we could go down the store and- Action it. shot. Yeah. <laughs> so JU-52 is coming out half batch. We're just going to do small batches. A lot mm -hmm. of things are going to be like that. We're going to try to do as many different restocks as we can. Right. But uh, because we have new releases coming out, uh, there's going to be a lot less quantity. So if you see stuff on the website, especially the pre-orders, get on, you know get on it because right. if, if you miss out or you, you wait, you're going to miss out. And there's so many, I guess there's so many in-demand Brickmania kits that mm -hmm. if a pre-order goes out or a, a, a restock goes up it may not be, or even a new release, it may not be able to restock again for like three to four months. Right, we're getting to a point in our production schedule now where like we can't really do the emergency, oh man, that sold, you know, we sold 50 of those like that and now people want more, like let's sneak it into production. We're kind of getting to a point where yeah. we're too full to do that. Uh, and so like with this JU-52 restock, obviously those, both the Glider and the JU have been sold out for quite a while and yeah. their release date came came and went. Um, and so now we're going to do this and it'll be available for pre-order. Uh, but then after these 25, who right. knows when the JU will and return. You'll still be able to get the same deal with the J, the, the JU-52. You can get up to five of the Green Devils. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a small batch of those as well. So you can get five Green Devils um, at a slightly discounted price if you buy them with, you know, you pre-order them with the JU-52. Yeah, cool. So same, yeah, same thing applies uh, across the board then. And then moving on to the other stuff that is new available for pre-order, let's go with the one we actually have sitting in front yes. of us. Okay. Uh, so this is the new IS-2, the, the Joseph Stalin tank, as, as Dan calls it. Um, uh, well, this I is going to be, well, fair <laughs> enough, as you told me. 
Um, so this is going to be available for pre-order right now on BrickMania.com. Uh, Dan, you want to tell me a little bit about this this bag? Uh, well, the JST or IS2, mm -hmm. uh, Iosef Stalin, um, they it's basically the Soviet Union's heavy tank from World War II. Um, it's a it's a descendant of the KV. Um, mm -hmm. The KV uh, design team was uh, uh, sort of fell out of favor with the uh, the with, with Joseph Stalin. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, and I think they changed the name to the Joseph Stalin uh, to keep themselves from being executed. So uh, I, you know, don't you can't fact check me on that, or you can maybe if you know more, mm -hmm. you, can, you can let me know. But um, so this is a descendant of the, the, the KV line of tanks. Um, it is a heavy tank. They call it a breakthrough tank. Huge gun, 122 millimeter gun, and it, it had a two-part shell. So the rate of fire was actually slowed down, but the shell itself was so big, it could just destroy a tiger, panther, anything that the Germans could throw at them. Wow. This could take on a tiger uh, on frontal arc. The, you know, the, you could basically the tiger had like four inches of armor in the front. This mm -hmm. thing could actually just destroy it. So the shell was so large. That's a powerful tank. Holy um, smokes. Yeah, the, the only problem is, is you could the tiger could get two shots off before this thing could get one, so, <laughs> or while this could get one. So that it does have its drawbacks. Um, we're doing the mock contest. Yeah. Is is 1945. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. This is going to follow. We're actually going to give one of these things away yeah, as the prize. The, the prize. Um, this doesn't have any stickers on it. I did pull out that tile, that that star tile. It just happened to be like uh, a tile that was there. Mm -hmm. um, in, in my parts, those will actually be printed. That's a sticker on that one. We'll have those printed okay. in the actual kit. Um, it does have this um, custom muzzle custom brake. Muzzle brake. Yeah, we, they got a couple of prototypes nice. here. We'll, maybe we could throw those in for the winner of the mock contest. Um, but that well, this is what we settle on. The first prototypes weren't big enough. Mm -hmm. Stalin said he wanted a bigger muzzle brake. So, wow. Yeah. So that happened. Uh, it's a it's a great model. It does have two opening hatches on the top. Mm -hmm. um, the, the suspension does do its thing. Yeah, um, nice. Yep, we have when we have the the travel lock for the gun, so you can you can turn it around and, and do that cool. thing. So, yep, and you have a douche gun on the roof, so um, it's a it's it's a big improvement. I mean, it, like five years ago now, I think it's okay. 20, 2015 was when the original my original IS2 came out. This is quite a bit updated, so it's based on the same thing. Obviously, it's the same tank. Uh, it has an updated turret because the the original one I did was based on the KV85 turret. Mm -hmm. So I guess when they stopped making the KV-85 and started using the 85mm gun on the T-34, they had some of these turrets left over and they put this giant gun in the KV-85 turrets. And I've actually updated this, so this is the IS-2 turret. Um, it does have the IS-2 original hull shape, so that gives us room in the future to actually make a late model IS-2 with a totally uh, pyramidical hull shape. Wow. So, yeah. So. Uh, you, you know, there's subtle changes, and this is the thing, is when this was built during wartime, and they just kept changing it, changing it, changing it, mm -hmm. uh, updating it. So this is like a still re relatively early model of the, the IS-2. No, very, very cool, and would work well then for 1945, like Dan was saying. So, yeah. once again, this is available for pre-order right now if you are either not participating in or don't trust your mock building skills <laughs> enough to be able to, to win one for free, um, or you want two of them, maybe. Um, but yeah, so this is the May 25th mock prize contest, and also a pre-order available right now. Right, on and Brickman it's either. going into production right now. So mm -hmm. we are ordering parts. We're doing everything we can to get it here. So it'll be out. Should be out on time, unless you hear otherwise. Assume that everything that we're doing is, is going to be coming out on time. Yeah, right. Business as usual right now. You know, obviously we're keeping you updated, literally sometimes by the hour, <laughs> depending <laughs> on what's going on, like the stuff with the Chicago store. But otherwise, right now, you know, we're doing everything we can to make sure that our employees and fans are safe. But other than that, it's business as usual. So, and I think that we've got a pretty good system down yep. for for keeping everything going. Um, okay, so also available for pre-order is the one we don't have right now because, like we were just saying, we're working remotely. So Cody actually has it with him uh, at home, but maybe you've seen pictures on our Instagram uh, or on his Instagram when he posted it. Uh, the Newport 11 or 17? 17. 17. Newport 17. We actually had that on our list to do two years ago, mm -hmm. and it ended up getting canceled or postponed. Mm -hmm. So now we're doing Newport 17 finally. Um, it's one thing, something that we've been wanting to do for a while. Mm -hmm. um, just like the Albatross. The Albatross was the same. That was, that was supposed to come out two years ago. Really? Finally got to it earlier this year, um, and now the Newport 17. Um, the Newport 17 that Cody is working on, he actually, um, he wanted to do one that, to match the Hollywood Edition Fokker DR1. So this is the counterpart from the movie Flyboys. He sure. just copied the, the, the coloration. I'm guessing it's a fictional 
um, fictional coloration. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not an expert on World War One aircraft mm -hmm. or, or the different squadrons. But the Newport 17 was flown by the Americans, flown by the French in World War. In, you know, it is a French airplane, and it was flown by both the French and the U.S. during mm -hmm. World War One. Famously in the movie Flyboys, um, that's what he's making. So if you look at the render, you'll see how it is. You don't see the coloration because that won't be coming out until we get the. Oh, okay. Until so, we get the parts. Okay. Right, right. We have to we have to print the parts. You, know, mm -hmm. you just have to use your imagination. It's oh. probably pretty boring and gray, but it will be much more colorful when the final model's done. Okay, very cool. So let, that's kind of how all of our, our pre-orders work. You know, everything is a prototype. We update the website, and then usually Instagram is how we let people know that, hey, the action shots are done. Come check out the product yep. page, provided it hasn't completely sold out. Yep. There's nothing there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's uh, the situation with those. So uh, two prototype models up available for sale right now. One big restock in the JU-52. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of those pre-orders. And then obviously we have the new releases for the week, which is the Flying Tigers bundle and some fun stuff coming in from Chicago to go back on source. Holy smokes. And we still haven't even covered everything. Well, that's, yeah, that, we're gonna this talk is technically about. next next week's right. new release. Um, they are done. I mean, we got as far as I know, they, on Friday they got the printing done for, mm -hmm. for the, the, the New Zealand soldier. Mm -hmm. So this, if you haven't seen it yet, that's the lemon, famous lemon squeezer hat. It is a unique Australian uh, field hat, mm -hmm. um, that our campaign hat, uh, with the kind of exaggerated peak on it. Yeah, right. This so, is the first time I've seen this figure. The color matching is excellent. Yeah, yeah, they did a great job. So this is, and it's actually two parts. That little hat band on there is actually a rubber band. Tiny, tiny rubber band. They had to dye red. <laughs> um, so it's very unique. A lot of work went into this. And it does have a New Zealand figure. Um, and he is wearing a World War I uh, set of harnesses. And the reason why they did that is because at the That's onset of World War II, they didn't have anything modern. They didn't have the, the new M30, you know, the 1937 pattern mm -hmm. uh, field kit. They were still using the World War I. I mean, it's what they had, and mm -hmm. they, they, these guys, these guys in particular, would probably be fighting in North Africa. Um, had no idea that Jap Japan would be uh, <laughs> poised to invade New Zealand. So all of, all the New Zealand soldiers were helping the the cause in, in North Africa and in mm -hmm. Europe. So, um, but the Bob Simple tank itself is is here. It's out. If you ordered one, it'll be going out this week. Mm -hmm. Don't see any reason. There's nothing saying that there's no, no reason for, to believe that they will be held up. Cool. So they'll be packing them up this week. Um, I think technically it's it's coming up next week. Right. Correct. So, but because this week is the Flying Tigers, next week is the yeah. Semple and the Hind. And, and we put stuff up when we have it. Right. Whenever and some of the Flying Tigers bundles have already shipped. Mm -hmm. So they're they're finishing them up. They, on, when we left here on Friday, they almost had them all packed up, um, and then they'll the rest will be shipping this week, and then I think a few more will be posted. So. Cool. Watch, watch the website. Yes. Always the best way to do is to watch the website. And then obviously subscribe to our email newsletter, all that kind of fun stuff. And subscribe to our YouTube channel because you could win that thing when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So make sure to do that. But more, more details on that to follow. Once we hit 50,000, we'll release a video letting people know how you can actually win that. But just reminding you, get your friends, get your family. It seems like just a couple of weeks ago we were doing the the 10,000 subscriber giveaway, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been a while. I guess it's before your time. We did yes, 10,000. Right. I think we did 25,000 or 20,000. Mm -hmm. Now we're at 50,000. So thanks everyone for supporting us and watching us. So yeah, we keep it going. It's the place to get updates. Everybody loves YouTube because we can sit here and talk about all this cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the last cool thing we have to talk about, let's let's talk a little bit about what this. I suppose I put it up like this, huh? Well, this is right here. Yeah, it's this is our. We're doing this as our brick starter campaign. Yeah, our brick starter campaign. So, so, to bottom. so basically, everybody gets a chance to become part of the ship. Mm -hmm. You you not only support the ship, but you actually your name or whatever message you want to have printed on gets put on one of these tiles, and then gets built into the ship. Tier one, you get a certificate. You mm -hmm. get the smallest tile mm -hmm. to write your message on, and that you know you go to the website. It'll, it'll give you the limits of what your character limits are. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's each tier gets a progressively bigger tile. Very, very cool. Okay, so the last thing we're going to touch on then after we've covered everything uh, is that we are going to do a flyby coupon code. So that coupon code will be SHELTER. First 100 people to use that uh, can get 15% off their order, whether that be your IS-2 pre-order, your Newport pre-order, your JU-52 pre-order, your, well, probably not the planks, huh? Planks. No, let's do it on the plank too. Oh, okay. Let's do it on the plank. On so the plank. Get, in a, get in early. We'll do it this one only. Okay. How about this time only? So if you get in on the plank, Mm -hmm. This this week until the coupons run out, you're gonna mm -hmm. have to jump on this now. You you get on it this week. Let's do it. Why okay. not? Come on. We we, we want to raise some money. So, you know, if we do have to shelter in place, mm -hmm. um, that means production's gonna stop. We're gonna have 
customer order is going to stop, and customer service is going to stop, orders mm -hmm. are going to stop until they say we can we can go again. Right. Uh, as much as we like to believe we're essential, <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be some people out there. They're that are essential say to that some of us. It's going to be essential <laughs> that we stay home if that's the order given. So. Right. Okay. Um, very very cool. So you save 15 percent on help, the plank yeah. ownership as well. It'll help us. Look at mm -hmm. that way. So not only will it help us buy the parts we need for the ship, it'll actually help us get through if we do have to shut down. So, sure. Uh, I don't anticipate Brickmania shutting down for good. I don't. Mm -hmm. This is not going to like. This is not going to be a, a Brickmania killer. I don't think. Right. I think we're we're we're, we're doing we're, we're strong enough, and we appreciate all the support we've gotten. Um, and all these pre-orders, all this, all the purchasing, you know, mm -hmm. we do have a, a special order brick arms coming in. We've got, we're restocking like crazy. So, okay. um, if you, you know, everything that you do, you buy today is going to help us continue um, this whole thing in the future. Um, one thing I did want to point out, I, I, I just realized, I, re I remember that this IST is a whole, it's a, it's a hundred more than a hundred dollars less. Oh yeah, retail price than the previous version. It gives you an idea in the last five minutes, or not five minutes, last five years, how much, how far Brickmania has, has gone into streamlining our production. Our, our packages are nicer. Mm -hmm. This was like a top tier black box kit back mm -hmm. in the day. Nowadays, all of our kits are at that level. They're all like super high quality. This was the, the top tier back in the day. And it costs us a lot more because we're outsourcing all of our printing, outsourcing the, the packaging. We're doing that all in house now. Mm -hmm. and we're able to save you that much money. So it's, it's it, you know, when I when I did the price calculations, I was like, yeah, this is this is a great feeling knowing that we can give out a better quality model mm -hmm. and have it uh, at, at a price point way better than it was the first time around. So there you go. Improvements at Brickmania means that savings get passed on to you, and then we can add additional savings like our flyby coupon, which is coupon code Shelter, save you fifteen percent on top of what Dan already saved you uh, by redesigning a cheaper model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and, and, and these coupons are designed. If you pre-order, we put the coupon out. You pre-order. It gives us the money in hand to actually give these get the get the parts going. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we we were just you know this spring we we started this this winter we started stocking up on parts. Just there was no actual reason other than that's what we used to do all the time. We're mm -hmm. trying to get back into that stock up on stuff so we don't have last minute parts crunches and and it's actually going to do us well right now. So cool. Well, and I like the pre-orders too, just because it uh, gives you peace of mind going forward, knowing that you're not missing out on any of these awesome brick mania builds. Although they do sell out fast sometimes, which is is kind of crazy then when you you miss your window of a weekend and suddenly there's three Heinz left on online. Yeah, and we can't just keep infinitely mm -hmm. adding more people to the team. We've we've tried that. The people that work here are very skilled. It's not something we can just throw people at it. We actually, right. you know, it does take a while to get up to speed. Um, you know, we have the best builders, we have the best designers, we have mm -hmm. the best uh, kit putter together, <laughs> animators, everything that you see is like, everybody's been doing this for quite a long time. Brickmania truly is top tier. Okay, so we've <laughs> rambled on long enough. Uh, go get your pre-orders, go get your, your, your well, restocks, <laughs> like, like, comment, and subscribe so that you can uh, get us to 50,000, win yourself a Johnson, uh, and, and become a plank owner of the USS Macon Island. Stay tuned for more release dates over here, and use that coupon code, SHELTER, save yourself 15%. Thanks so much for watching.